Hello, 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 all of amores. Welcome to today's episode of Tea Time with Nori. Hi, if you're meeting for the first time, I am Nori Pulsel and I help the men and women that are feeling stuck eliminate limiting beliefs that are keeping them from living the life of their dreams, the beliefs that are keeping them from winning, from achieving, from, you know, living their best lives. And that's really what I do. So welcome to today's session. I'm super excited because I'm going to be answering some questions that y'all all sent me about life coaching. Thank you for sending those questions over. I appreciate it and I appreciate you for sending them my way. Uh, my intention today for this live in the session is that you will walk away with some clarity on some things that you might be considering. I'm going to be sharing three questions that I got from one of my current students and two women that are seeking to work with me. And I thought these questions were really powerful and I wanted to share them with you and give you some insight. So my intention is that as you walk away from this training video, you will have a clear understanding on life coaching and if that's the right fit for you and all the other fun stuff, right? So let's get to it. The first question I got, and if you have additional questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll answer them. The first question I have is, can the life coach help me even if I can't be accountable to myself or anyone else? Now, this is a question that came from a woman that's looking to work with me. And it's a really important question because a lot of us, are struggling to be accountable to ourselves. Not everybody, I know there are some of you out there that are doing the thing that you wanna do and you have no issues. I am not talking to you. Um, you're not struggling with this, but I'm talking to the women that are struggling, the women that feel like they cannot be accountable to themselves. And if that's you, I want you to know that a life coach can really help you understand why is it that you are struggling to be accountable for yourself? What are the barriers that are keeping you from getting yourself to do the things that you want to do? And if you're feeling like I am not accountable to myself, that's already miles ahead to be working with a life coach because then now you understand what is the area that you're struggling with the most and the life coach that you decide to work with will be able to help you in that particular area. And that's super important because if we don't know what we're struggling with, it's going to be really difficult for someone to help us. It's going to be really difficult for someone to give us the support that we need. So if you are feeling like you cannot be accountable to yourself, a life coach can help you by giving you some answers and some clarity as to why that's a challenge you're dealing with. Now, if you decide that you don't want to work with a life coach, then you will continue to be in a position where you are not accountable to yourself. You're not accountable to other people in your life and you are not achieving the things you want to accomplish for yourself. So you have to ask yourself, do I want to get to the root of my situation or do I want to continue being in a space where I am not accountable to myself? And I know because you are here, you want to be in a space where you are accountable for yourself, where you are getting yourself to act, where you're really conscious about doing the things that you want to do. And if that's the area that you're struggling with, then working with a life coach can really help you change that. But that's your choice. You have the choice to make the decision. And if you don't want to make that decision, you will continue to be in the situation that you are right now. And you know what it's like to be in the situation that you are right now. So, you know, you don't want to be there. That's why working with the right life coach can help you change that. Okay, question number two, what if I don't want to feel like a burden on someone else? Another great question. Why is this a great question? Because a lot of us have been taught that we shouldn't be a burden on others. A lot of us have been in family situations or with people around us that have struggled a lot. We might've seen our parents struggle. Growing up, I saw my mother struggle a whole lot. And because of that, I had this feeling that I didn't want to be someone that was a burden to my mom. I wanted to be really self-sufficient. I wanted to make sure I took care of myself so that she didn't have to worry about me because I saw how much she worried about everybody else. So the feeling that you don't want to be a burden is nothing to feel ashamed of. A lot of us feel that way. I know I used to feel like that too. But this is the thing about this process, right, in healing. Sometimes... We think that being strong means that we should not be getting help, that we don't need the help from other people because we got it. 
And in reality, being strong means that you know what you need and you know that you cannot get yourself that thing. And that's why you go and seek the help from someone that can help you accomplish it and achieve it. Now, it is perfectly normal to have that feeling of, I don't want to be a burden on somebody else. But you have to understand that because this is the help that you need and you are investing in this in yourself in this way, this person is not going to be like, don't hit me up. Don't talk to me. You are literally paying your life coach so that they can give you the support that you need. So when you pay, when you go to Apple and you buy your iPhone and then you go to the uh, Genius Bar because something is wrong with it, you don't be like, I want to be a burden to the Genius Bar. No, you paid for your iPhone. You feel like they promised to give you that support and they should deliver on that promise. Well, the same concept applies to a life coach. When you bring a life coach on board, their role is to be that person that they are holding you accountable, that you can go to without feeling like you're a burden, without feeling those feelings of shame. And that's why it's important that even if you begin your work with a life coach with those feelings, that you slowly begin to understand that that's that person's job. Their job is to be there for you in that way and that you are worthy and deserving of that. Now, why is that important? Well, because when you do not take that belief, when you do not adopt that belief and accept that help in that way, you are hindering yourself from getting what you need. You have paid someone to give you a service. You have paid someone to help you with your healing process. And you are standing in the way of your ability to reap the rewards of that investment. And if you invest in something, you want to make sure you're getting the most results that you are possibly able to get. So once you work with a coach, even if you go in, go in feeling like, I don't want to be a burden to someone, you have to understand that those feelings stand in the way of your ability to, to make that happen, your ability to be successful, your ability to reap the rewards. And that's super important and critical, right? So it's part of you healing. It's part of you letting go. Anytime that you feel like you don't want to be a burden on someone, especially someone that you pay for, then that's part of your healing process and something that you actually do have to work on. So it's like a sign that you have to work on this, right? So it's really important that you you accept that that's where you are so that your coach can help you move out of that mindset and be in a mindset where you do feel worthy and deserving of yourself and your own investment. Okay, question number three, how do I prepare to work with a life coach? Where do I get started? So I really talked about this in a video I did earlier this week called How to Know You're Ready for a Life Coach. That's a really informative video that you should definitely check out where I shared a quick six question quiz that you have to pass where basically flying colors, you got to get a perfect score in order to move on to the next step before bringing a life coach on board. Now, this quiz will help you understand if you are ready for a life coach. And if you are ready for that life coach, then you can take the next step. And I'm going to share with that with you in a minute. But if you are not ready for a life coach, then you really don't have any business focusing on that. You should really be what you want to be focusing on is the areas of your life that need that, that, that immediate support. Things like sheltered food, financial support for yourself. Um, I think I named a few more on, on that video. So go check that video out because I really talk about it uh, at length. It's called... So, uh, it's called a quiz on how you know how to know that you're ready for a life coach. Go watch that video because that's the first step. Now, the second step, if you're thinking about if you go and you take the quiz and you get a perfect score, it's finding the life right coach for you. Everyone is not the right life coach for you. You got to find the person that you mesh with, the person that can help you deliver the resources that you need, the person that you're going to trust. Life coach relationship, it's really intimate and it's really special bond. So you have to take it, you know, seriously and you can't take that stuff lightly. And that's why it's your choice and, and you're paying for this person to help you. So you got to make sure you do your research, right? Um, so finding the life right, the right life coach for you, I think I did a video. Yes, I did a video on that this week as well called how to find the, the perfect life coach for you. Um, and you can check that video out where I talk about, I think I share five questions that you can ask a life coach before you start working with them and you give them your money. 
Um, and if you took that and you feel like, okay, I got my questions ready, I wanna invite you to come and talk to me. This is my passion. I got into this work because I really wanna see women win. I wanna see women you know, flourishing, especially those of us that have struggled in the past and have tried things like therapy and that hasn't worked for us, right? Um, I wanna invite you to click on the link below and schedule a, a clarity session with me. This is a free conversation we can have together and we can talk about what you have going on and you can ask me questions and we can determine what's keeping you in the situation that you are right now. And then you can decide if you wanna come on board with me or not, or you can decide to go find somebody else. That's also cool. The perfect thing, the, the beautiful thing about talking to a coach is that you can then decide if that person is the right fit for you or not, and then you'll be closer to finding the right fit for you. So if you are someone that is looking to make that next step, I wanna invite you to you know, click on that link below, um, head to iamhealthyfit.com backslash schedule, and let's chat. I would love to get to learn more about you and what you're dealing with and see if I'm your girl. you know. And if I'm not your girl, that's cool because then you are closer to finding the person that is the right for you. And, and that's really what I want from you. Okay, so that was today's video. I wanted to share those three questions that I got around life coaching. These were really, really good questions. If you have a, another question that I didn't get a chance to, to cover it today, drop it in the comments and I will more, be more than happy to address it. Um, yeah, I want to see you win, you know, like I know you you're you got questions and you're trying to figure this out and maybe you don't know a life coach. Maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it, but I want to position you in the best with the best place to win and to accomplish the things you wanna accomplish. And it all starts with being educated around that, with getting the information that you need. And, and I hope that you walk away from this video with that. Um, have an amazing rest of your day. If I, I hope that I get to see you in the next video and you know, hit me up. All right, take care and hasta luego.